This is my Phillips and Rapco Shaver 6800. I haven't used an electric shaver for years, so I decided to give one a go. This one got good reviews on uh, Amazon.com, so I picked it up at Best Buy. Um, it comes with the side shaver. All you do is uh, pop it straight off. You have to be a little bit careful because it seems a bit fragile. Oh, this one goes like this. There is a little tab and slot here you line up. And you turn it on, you can shave your beard or whatever. Trim your, the edge of your beard or your nose hairs, hairs, <laughs> hairs, whatever kind of hair you have. I'm pretty good, you guys. This one pops right back on, but it's a little tricky. You gotta be careful with it. And there you go, it comes with a little guard. You have to be careful with this guard too. It's better to slide it on and off, I believe. I'm probably never going to use it anyways, but you definitely have to be careful with this thing. I don't really like the guard because it's hard to get on and off. But, uh, that's the unboxing. It comes with instructions, yada yada. It's common sense. So, on to the shaving. Okay, my beard's a little heavy. Hopefully I didn't grow it too long for this video, but here it goes. It says to shave in circular motions with this. It's got the... Uh, Circular blades. Wow, it's actually really comfortable. <laughs> I forgot about the circular motion already. <laughs> I'm surprised. Last time I tried to use an electric razor, it did not go very well. <laughs> Been using that manual razor ever since. Now this guy is really getting after it. I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm gonna feel a little bit of pull because my beard's got, or my scruff's gotten so long I wouldn't call it a beard. <laughs> Unless you're one of those guys that it takes a month to grow a scruff and it might be a beard. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's going really good. I'm very impressed. Rip through the shaving here, and then I can jump on mine and give you some prices and stuff where the best place to get one is. Okay, as you can see, I'm almost done. I've been going in circular motions, but sometimes if there's like a, some stubborn hairs, you can just grab one little circle and go in circular motions to get it. But I am very impressed so far. It's really done an excellent job. Mm, I think I'll definitely keep it, but I am going to be buying more razors to compare just to try to find the best one. I'm just thinking maybe it's time to get away from the manual razor. But. And you can do it wet too, right? Yeah, you can do a wet shave. This is my dry shave. I'm gonna wait until I have to shave again and do another video clip to add to this video of a wet shave, but. You can really just get used to using all three blades and going in bigger circular motions as well, but. Try to finish up here real quick so you guys don't get bored. You kind of feel for any scruff that you missed. It does take a little longer than I'd like. I think it's taken like 10 minutes. That's pretty good. You can see it shaved my skin pretty close. My neck's usually a problem spot, but it's really not very red or anything, so I don't have any nicks or anything, so I'm gonna go grab the little side trimmer and give it a whirl. Okay, I got the little side trimmer just to finish up my sideburns and stuff. Yeah, it was actually shaving really close to the skin, so that's good. I'm just not a big fan of electric razors, I guess. I'm more of a manual shaver. I want to be sticking with my manual razor, but... Go 
expected to do a lot better job than I thought it was, so. Okay, so I finished shaving and you just pop the razors off and it collects all the hair in here and you just dump it out. Clamp it back into place. And it's ready for the next shave. Okay, this is the wet shave. How is it so far? It's okay, I don't feel it pulling in at all. Okay, let me just rinse off real quick. We'll see the final result. Okay, as you can see, uh, didn't really do a very good job. Did a good job as far as not pulling or anything, but the dry shave is definitely a lot better. I've still got a lot of patchy hair on my neck and face, so I probably wouldn't buy this razor. I'm more of a straight razor guy, anyways, but uh, there you go.